Hello, my name is Richard Evans, Regional Sales Manager for Foster and Freeman Limited, and this is the future of crime scene technology. This is the Crime Light Auto. The Crime Light Auto is the result of four years research and development using our in-house team of experts to design a tool that can be quickly and easily taken to the crime scene. Traditionally, at the moment, crime scene examiners may take light sources, computers and various filters and cameras to the crime scene. With the Crime Light Auto, you have all of that in one simple unit. The Crime Light Auto features a magnetic um, lens cover that can be easily removed and replaced as such. And when we remove the lens cover, you can see here the camera, which is a 20 megapixel still image camera, but it also provides full HD quality video should the user decide they want to record video. Within here, we have all of the different light sources. And the light sources go from UV, violet, blue, blue-green, green, orange, and red all in that area there and there are approximately four LEDs per wavelength giving you the ideal balance between power and battery life. In addition to the lights there there is also additional lighting on the arm units which can be easily uh, extended as such. In the arm units we have additional white lighting ultraviolet lighting and also infrared lighting and it should be noted that you can have the lighting on here and the lighting on here at the same time so for example you can have double the power of UV or you could use the white light with some other lights the light in here can also be used in combination with each other so for example you could use the blue and blue green to get together to give you a much more powerful light and there are 55 different combinations of lighting possible. At the front here we also have the filter unit and within the filter unit we have six long pass filters and three band pass filters. The band pass filters are used for looking in the ultraviolet and also in the area of the visible that we commonly associate with body fluids, things like semen, saliva and the bandpass filters can be used to try and get rid of some of the background interference that you may see on some substrates. The filter selection is totally automatic. When you select a light source, the unit will automatically select the correct filter to use. You don't have to know what the correct filter is. However, experienced users are able to select a different filter should they feel that gives them a better contrast between the substrate and the evidence. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how quick and easy the Crime Light Auto is to use. Um, we've got a couple of different types of evidence here, but here you can see the rear of the touchscreen and the main lighting controls are shown here. And you can see there are three arcs. So the first arc is the intensity, the second arc is the lighting uh, controls, and then the third arc is the filter selection, which is normally done automatically. So first of all, I'm going to use this piece of evidence here. This is a um, drugs carton, um, uh, ibuprofen carton, and this has been treated with cyanoacrylate and then dusted with a fluorescent fingerprint powder. So to visualize the fingerprints on here, I'm going to select, first of all, the blue light. And when I use the blue light, the filter selection, as I say, is automatic. And on this case, that is using a 495 filter. So now, I can just come over to here, look at my fingerprints, and that will capture the image. And once the image is being captured, the image will actually go into the image gallery a few seconds later. And the images are very, very high quality, they're 20 megapixel. So we can review the images by just going into the image gallery, and in a couple of seconds we will actually see the image um, appear in the gallery here. There we go. And then once you've got that, you can just play the image. And now we can actually zoom in 
and look at the fingerprint detail. And as you can see, you can actually see third level detail within the fingerprint images. It really is high quality. You can see the sweat pores there as well. And if you are connected to a larger screen, these images would look even better. So that is a fingerprint that's been dusted with fluorescent powder. One of the other things that the Chrono Auto can do is it can also look for blood um, using its infrared facility. So to use the infrared facility, I'm going to use the arms because the infrared lighting is cont contained within the arms there. And then I just go to the back of the unit and I'm going to select infrared mode. And I can also make this um, the lighting uh, controls disappear by pressing the button. And now when I examine that sock, we can look at the sock and actually look for any blood that may be present on the sock. And there in that area, we have some blood. And again, I can just capture that image and that will appear in the gallery. Normally for image capture, especially under low light, you'd probably want to use this on a tripod. But if you have a good level of lighting, then a tripod really is not necessary at all. Um, as another example, we can also use this to look for body fluids like semen or sweat. And on this here, we have some sweat uh, that's been put onto there. So again, just to visualize this, I can go to my lighting controls. And this time I'm going to use the blue-green light, for example. And I'm also going to change the focus mode. So I'm going to put the focus mode here into automatic focus. So using the blue-green light here, we're able to see the sweat that's on the surface. And again, I can just capture that image and that image is taken to the gallery. And as I said before, the user is able to, able to manually change the filters as well. And in this case, just by changing the filter there, we actually get a much better contrast between the evidence and the background. So that is a good example of where manual filter selection may be better than automatic filter selection. The unit features a 7-inch touchscreen at the rear. This is not a computer. It's not a PC. You're not going to get viruses on this. It's a 7-inch custom-designed touchscreen where we're able to control the unit, see images and videos we have taken, and basically change some of the advanced settings. And the unit is quite unique in that it can also be angled downwards as such. So if you are examining the floor, it's much more easy to use it like this than trying to bend forward to examine the floor. You'll also note that the unit is powered by a single battery. There is no trailing wires uh, at all. One battery powers the lights, the camera and the touchscreen. This is the Crime Light Auto travel case that you would take to the crime scene. Uh, with the Crime Light Auto inside, it weighs between about 6 or 7 kilogram, depending on what options you have. But inside the case, we have everything that you will need. You've got two smaller batteries, you've got a larger battery, and you've also got your battery charger and your mains adapter all in the case. And the batteries also feature a, a unique uh, display that shows you how charged the batteries are, but this is also shown within the software of the Crime Light Auto. The Crime Light Auto just fits into the case. We remove the battery and then the unit slides into position with the neck strap going down the back. One of the great features with the Crime Light Auto is also that there is an application for your phone. The unit features Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections as standard. However, should your customers not require this, as some uh, organizations do not allow Bluetooth or Wi-Fi devices, they can be switched off at the factory prior to shipment. The application that you have on your phone will work with both Android and Apple phones. And the Bluetooth connection is used to control the light source. So, for example, if that's on a tripod, you can con control the colours and you can also use it as a remote trigger to take photographs without any camera shake. 
the Wi-Fi connection is used to transfer images from the unit to your phone which can then be uh, using your mobile data connection sent back to the laboratory very quickly indeed. The unit has different connections down this side there is a full-size USB, micro USB, HDMI output for connecting to a projector or monitor and there is also a micro SD card onto which we store the images and the images can be uh, saved in different formats such as a bitmap, TIFF, JPEG. The Crime Light Auto is also lightweight uh, even with the larger battery that we see here, the total unit comes in at about 1.8 kilogram. So it's not particularly much more heavier than you, you would get with a digital SLR camera. And certainly much more lighter than a digital SLR camera, filters, lights and computers that crime scene examiners are currently carrying. You can see as I'm holding it there, you can hold it from the battery or you can use the neck um, strap and hold it around your neck and hold on to the ends of the unit. The software allows me to change the lighting and as I change the lighting it automatically se selects the filters as I've already shown. And the lighting can also be changed in intensity using the software. So for example if you want to extend the battery life you can reduce the intensity of the lights and get more battery performance should you need to do that. The camera itself is used in normally in automatic mode but for experienced photographers there is the ability to actually go into advanced mode where you can alter the ISO, the shutter speed and the f-stops like you would on any sort of digital camera. So there you have it, the Crime Light Auto, the future of crime scene examination. Foster and Freeman are really proud to introduce this today. We hope you like it too.